I just love dogs and I love cats. And I thank God so much for creating animals as companions for us. And I want to bring you today a heartwarming true story that happened recently about a dog named Scout who escaped his shelter to go to a nursing home where he became a companion and still is for the senior citizens and other residents of this nursing home. Since my mom was in a nursing home before she died, she did come home before she died, but she was in a nursing home for a long time and she was missing her, her pet cat, uh, Pumpkin. And this story really warms my heart and I hope you enjoy it too. Scout the dog had had enough of being at the animal shelter. So Scout the dog climbed over one tall fence and then another, crossed a busy highway in the darkness, entered the automatic doors of a nursing home down the road, walked unnoticed into the lobby, hopped onto a couch and curled into a ball and quietly went to sleep for the night. An astonished nurse there found him the next morning. So she called the animal control, whose shelter happens to be just down the road, and they discovered that Scout had escaped from there the night before. Scout was a stray mutt with no identity or backstory or history. The shelter staff gave him his new name, Scout, but otherwise they knew nothing about him, although they noticed that he had the distinct demeanor of an abused dog. Someone apparently once shot him too, tragically, with BBs or birdshot because his jowl still had some kind of round pellets embedded in it. You couldn't see them, but you could feel them if Scout let you touch him. So the sheriff came and took Scout back to the shelter. But a few nights later, there was Scout back on that same couch in the nursing home lobby. Somehow Scout had scaled a 10-foot chain link fence, and then he scaled a six-foot solid privacy fence, crossed a highway without getting run over, and entered the front door unnoticed, and he jumped onto that same couch as before and made himself at home for the night. So a call was placed again, and he was brought back to the shelter again. But just a couple of nights after that, Scout was back on the couch for the third time, and the staff had a decision to make. Meadowbrook Medical Care Facility is a long-term medical care residence about an hour northeast of Traverse City in Michigan. It cares mostly for seniors, some of whom have terminal illnesses or dementia, or simply nowhere else to go or no one to look after them. There are 82 beds split between several smaller households. And for some reason, this is the place Scout the dog decided to make his home. So the nursing home's administrator, Marna Robertson, noticed that Scout had escaped three times. And she said, this is obviously something to pay attention to. And she said to her staff, well, Scout obviously wants to be here. Would anybody like to have a dog? The staff then formally adopted Scout. And suddenly the nursing home had its own pet and the residents were delighted. One of the staff members says that she thinks having Scout the dog there reminds them of being home. When you're home, you have your pets and you don't get to have them here. One of the staff members says that residents feel like they're at home because of Scout's presence. Having a dog around makes it feel like home. Scout has free reign at the nursing home. He wanders the halls at will, lies down wherever he wishes, and visits residents whenever the mood strikes him. He's also learned how to get into their rooms by jumping up and using his paw to pull down on door handles. And he knows which residents keep dog biscuits in their walkers to give to him. Each and every residence considers Scout their dog, says one of the staff members. Earlier this year, the nurses held a fundraiser in Scout's honor. They put his photo on social media and asked for donations to the animal shelter that had brought Scout in off the street and thus to them. Hundreds of dollars came in from strangers who heard how he got there. Someone even came by just to meet this dog they saw online. And in February, Scout was named Resident 
of the month. We woof you, said the poster announcing the honor written by a staff. Thank you for adopting us, Scout. So after three attempts at escaping from the animal shelter, Scout the dog was given a permanent home at this residence. And now he's everybody's pet and he curls up on the couch at night to sleep. Oh, that was such a sweet story. So heartwarming and so great that the nursing home gave Scout this home with the residents. And I hope that this story was uplifting and encouraging to you as well. So go hug your dog or your cat. And thank you so much for watching. God bless you. Oh, you're such a good girl, Ginger.